Hello everyone. Peace, Shalom, Salam, Aloha, Namaste. I am Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church of Chappaqua. And today we are celebrating Mother's Day. Now for most of us, our mothers are the wonderful women who gave birth to us. But for many others, the person you think of as your mother may be an aunt, a grandma, a guardian, a father, an older brother or sister, or a dear friend who took you in. Our spiritual mothers are the ones who nurture us, comfort us, hold us, and guide us. So whoever that is for you, celebrate them today. What words can express what mothers mean to us? Just close your eyes for a moment and think about their love, their hugs, their kisses, their voice, their food, their house. My mother's hands have always been special to me. When I was little, I would snuggle with her on the couch, hold her hand, and push on her squishy veins. That might sound weird, <laughs> but they were fascinating to me as a kid and such an important part of her. They carried her blood. To me, it was like lying with my head on her chest, listening to her heartbeat. I was utterly relaxed and comforted at those times. Because of social distancing right now, I can't hold and play with her hand when I see her today. But believe me, if I could, I would. I don't care how old I am. Hopefully you have a good relationship with your mother. Not everybody does. Some people may fight with their mothers from time to time. That's pretty normal. Others may even fight a lot with them. That doesn't mean they don't love us. I would bet that almost all of them love us very deeply. Mothers are people like everyone else and they have all the same feelings the rest of us do. They get angry and sad and frustrated, just like anybody else. We have to remember that most of the time they are doing their very best to be good to us. One of my favorite books growing up was about mamas. It has a crazy title. It's called, My Mama Says There Aren't Any Zombies, Ghosts, Vampires, Creatures, Demons, Monsters, Fiends, Goblins, or Things by Judith Forst. You should all look it up and either read it or listen to it. In, a little, in it, a little boy worries about one monster or another bothering him at night, and his mother says there are no such things as all these monsters. But he then points out all the times when his mother was wrong about something, like when she loses one of his toys, or calls someone the wrong name, or gets lost um, driving on the way to a friend's house. The idea is that when the mother says there are no monsters, the boy replies over and over, but sometimes even mamas make mistakes. When I was little, I just loved all the crazy wild illustrations of monsters in the book. But now I love seeing all the little stories in between, all the times the mama is struggling to keep her jobs and responsibilities going, all the while keeping this boy happy and healthy. And she keeps making mistakes along the way that the child is all too pleased to point out. It's not a mean-spirited book at all, it's quite kind. And it shows how sometimes mother and child relationships can be messy and still very loving. And I love that idea because as I make mistakes from time to time with my own kids, very rarely, I have to remember to forgive myself and I hope they forgive me. Now, just for fun, let's think a little bit about some other mother figures out there, some legendary mothers whose stories inspire the world. There are countless examples and I'm sure you can think of many. I'm talking about some pretty big names. We have Mary, mother to Jesus, who cared for her son all through his life. We have Mother Teresa, a nun who, uh, with no children, but who tirelessly cared for the poor and the sick. She was a mother to strangers. We have Amma, the hugging saint, an enlightened woman of Hindu faith alive today, 
who hugs and comforts every single person who comes to see her and listen to her speak, sometimes thousands of people a day. I myself have seen Amma and hugged her. It was like being held by my own mother. We have our amazing Mother Earth. We have heavenly goddess mothers like Gaia. We have Tiamat, Rhea, Hera, Isis, and all the pagan goddesses from religions past. We have the Hindu mother goddess, uh, Devi. We have Sophia, the embodiment of wisdom. And we have God himself or herself. It is so common to think of God as our father, but God is our mother too. And it is perfectly natural and wonderful to refer to her as such. So today let's celebrate mothers and motherhood of all kinds, and specifically your mother, whoever she may be. All of their beauty inside and out, all their hard work and grace and strength and humor and joy, all their quirks and mistakes and the millions of things about them that are right and wonderful. Be good to your mother, all your mothers today. Do something nice for them. Say thank you. Tell them you love them. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for those we call mother. Thank you for the ones who gave birth to us, the ones who raise us, the ones who keep us going every day. They are the wind in our sails, the food on our tables, and the warm blankets we curl up with at night. They are quite simply everything to us. Let them know how much we care for them. Amen. So I do have a song for you today. It's about mamas. It's about my mother. And I dedicate this to her. And I dedicate this to my wife, my baby mama, the mother of my children. She definitely deserves a song like this too. The chorus is a bit of a tongue twister. I'll give you a little hint with it in case you want to try and sing along. Um, it uses three names for mother, mother, mommy, and mama. And it says, mother, mommy, mama, may I hold you. Mother, mommy, mama, may I kiss your cheek. Mother, mommy, mama, may I call your name. Mother, mommy, mama, may we sleep. It's a little quick, but you'll get the hang of it. Here we go. I look back on mornings spent with mama. I light up at all the walks we took, picking shells and plums and dandelions, throwing stones across a winding brook. I look back on afternoons with mama. We'd sit down and fall into a book. Fighting spies and wars and crimes and dragons. Finding gold where no one else would look. Oh, mother, mommy, mama, may I hold you? Mother, mommy, mama, may I kiss your cheek? Mother, mommy, mama, may I call your name? Mother, mommy, mama, may we sleep? I look back on weeks I spent with Mama, bounding on adventures through the world. There was art and farms and seas and cities. There was home awaiting our return. Many nights I crawled in bed with Mama, so afraid not getting any rest. But she was strong and patient and courageous, so I slept my head upon her breast. Oh, mother, mommy, mama, may I hold you? Mother, mommy, mama, may I kiss your cheek? Mother, mommy, mama, may I call your name? Mother, mommy, mama, may we sleep? I look back on all that time with Mama, wonder how she loved me like she did. 
Maybe she had spells and charms and powers. Maybe I was just a lucky kid. In my dreams, I'm still right there with mama. In my dreams, our time is ever long. She and I will always have each other. She and I will always have this song. Oh, mother, mommy, mama, may I hold you? Mother, mommy, mama, may I kiss your cheek? Mother, mommy, mama, may I call your name? Mother, mommy, mama, may we sleep? Oh, mother, mommy, mama, may I hold you? Mother, mommy, mama, may I kiss your cheek? Mother, mommy, mama, may I call your name? Mother, mommy, mama, may we sleep? Thank you, everyone. And thank you, mom. I love you. Have a great week.